Hi, welcome to Super Mario Miss channel. I'm just testing this cassette player here through microphone to talk to you on YouTube. Oh well, this is a cassette player. Only a test that everything works as it should. This is just a test to test that it works as it should. Thank you for listening. Yes, this is actually a very rare cassette player. This has three band radio with cassette tape recorder. And the background noise is just the engine because I used the built-in microphone right there. And this is actually a very good cassette recorder. And no one has reviewed this on YouTube yet. You can search on Wikipedia, you will not find this. You will not find it on the internet at all. Why is it so? I don't know. This is the model number TK Streak 5404 and it's from Mark. And if you try to search it up on YouTube, you will only find this video here. Why? Because if you type in the model number and the brand, you will probably get up a military tank. Actually, believe it or not. This cassette player here was broken when I get it. It has not been repaired. I have fine adjust the tuner. I have checked all the rubber bands to make sure that this works perfectly well. And this is a very old cassette player I might add. At the top here you have volume, you have tone control, you have function for band. Sorry, uh, there's a function at the top here for radio tape, yes, and sleep on and off. The band selection is actually at the back and I'm gonna show you that a little later. This cassette player has recording, reverse, forward, play, stop and eject. No such thing as pause on this one. And I can understand why they have no pause on this as well, because the pause function is extra mechanic that can break. Which means, and it can also make the cassette recorder go, go uneven if you use that a lot. In here, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. There is a round eye, if I can call it here. It's the level uh, meter and the battery indicator. It's the same meter inside here. I'm gonna take the camera closer, maybe it can pick it up. But uh, be aware that it will be a little bit noisy if I do that. I will be very careful. Let's see. Right there, you can see that that is an indicator for a peak or level meter and battery. If I hold the camera like this, it might be a little bit shaky because I hold it on the one hand, just right there. And now I'm going to take the camera back in its position again, like that, and like that. This is, as I said, a brand called Mark. TK5404. At the end of this review I'm gonna show you the box. I have the original box from the factory as well. So that's something. This radio here, it, it has a FM band from 88 to 108. It has a MW, the medium wave band, from 525 to 1600. Approximately, probably 6020 is very normal. And the long wave, of course. The only band that can be used up here where I live is the FM because it's only noise that comes out of the other uh, bands. They are not using it up here. And here you can see there is a graphical line and I don't know what that is. It's only for the view. So um, that's the way it is. This is the top of it. If I tilt it you can see uh, all the buttons here. And you can see the sleep and tape radio tone and volume and the antenna at the back. Now, I'm gonna show you the side here. We start here. I don't know if the camera can pick it up, so I have to do like this and take advantage of the light. This is an old AUX output that you can hook up an old recorder to uh, this, for example, a turntable. And you also got microphone REM. I don't know what REM means. And you also got SP monitor and it's a three and a half millimeter microphone input I um, guess moon mm, this first button here goes from zero to two and it's called Moni Moni SW I don't know what that is 
and beat out of course 2 or 1 you can choose between 2 and 1 for that yeah I don't know what beat is so I don't care about it it's the, it's in 1 position now and the Moni SW is in 0 at the back here here you have the band selector FM, M, W, L, W the medium wave and long wave and FM the frequency modulation so it has 3 bands and here is the battery compartment can I get it open here? yes I can sorry for the big sound there this takes 4 R20 battery the biggest one I think it's called R20 and the battery compartment if I do this it's in perfect good condition so this hasn't been used a lot this cassette player at all hmm let's see if I can get the lid on again it's a little bit hard on this one there we have it at the bottom there's nothing to see and here it says the model number uh, TK streak 5404 cassette radio 220 volt 50 Hertz and that's the PAL system up here and I know it's in the United States it's the 60 Hertz that are normal so uh, and I'm gonna see if there are something to see at the other side here no it's only the tuner that you tune uh, the radio here if I do this and I do this I can tune the radio without any trouble at all it works perfectly fine so this is a very special cassette player and now I showed you by talking to the microphone to this that it works perfectly fine and uh, I'm gonna take the cassette player away for a moment now and I'm gonna show you the box at the end of this review I'm gonna take that away now you know it works because I recorded my voice into the microphone of this one so I'm not violating any copyrights here so uh, that's okay and now I'm gonna find the box uh, let's see if I can fit that into the camera here yes I can it says mark at the top here EC cassette recorder level meter battery checker it has and that means also when it this old cassette player here also got a um, electronical erase head instead of magnetic erase head and that's actually a good thing because then you can and record with as less noise as possible so I can guarantee you it's freaking good to record with this on the radio so it's impressive I gotta say that level meter battery charger automatic level control that means that it adjusts after the channel you are hooked up to for example on radio if you record a melody from one radio you might search for another station and that station is a little bit lower and if the automatic level control are working perfectly it will adjust so the so both of the, the melody from different stations are leveled out so you don't jump in your chairs uh, when you listen to the recording and suddenly the music is louder than it should be built-in condenser microphone as I talked into the noise you hear was from the engine that's nothing to do about that because the engine amplifies the noise through the um, plastic uh, of the radio and that's nothing to do about it. If I hook up a separate microphone to it, I have that somewhere laying around but I couldn't find it, you can easily use that as well and then you are rid of the noise, then you, the noise will be gone because you're using a microphone that you hook up to the system. Auto stop and sleep system it says, the sleep system as I told you earlier in the Ghetto Blaster review works like that you can uh, put on a radio station before you get to sleep and you put in a cassette on for example a half an hour a 60 minutes cassette and you put it in then you have half an hour play before it stops and you just press play and the radio starts up and when the cassette stops at the end the radio shuts off automatically that was back in the days how they did that and it says distinctive tweeter that means that it has some extra speaker and I have checked the speaker and I checked the tweeter when I first was in there in the cassette recorder and to fix it and it works perfectly fine so this is Mark EC radio cassette recorder with a model number TK5404 and I can guarantee you nobody has reviewed this at all and it's not on the internet either and it's not even on uh, the Wikipedia when you search for this model number you only get up a tank wow okay that's the way it is but I hope you like this review that I did for you and I can tell you also one other thing that actually 
I looked when I looked inside. There was a lot of capacitors and so inside, and there were very big ones. So this is an old radio. The transformer that transformed the electricity from 250 volt to uh, 6 volts, it is in this case, also had two big fuses inside. What's the reason to have two big fuses for uh, for that? I don't know. Normally there are only one fuse in a cassette recorder. But this is something different and it's built for, for high quality, that's for sure, because um, it's very good soldered and uh, everything is uh, it's built inside very well. So it's high quality player. So now you know, I hope you like the review. More reviews are on the way. Thank you for watching my channel and have a pleasant evening everyone. Take care. Bye bye.